<clears throat> okay. Highway to Closeed. You know, I'm fine with the guard duty and all, but uh, I can't imagine who'd be dense enough to try and sneak into Closeed right now. Well, nobody that's even close to the general's here right now. Wait, so they'd have to be extra. Not the gum, by the way. Wait, somebody's coming. Ooh, well, hello, hello there, you studly, sturdy soldier boys. I got some quick little errands to take care of in town, so... If you don't mind... No entry beyond this point! Be gone immediately or you will be cut down from where you stand. That's no way to talk to a lady. Won't you please let me through? Oh, spare me the sweet tot. You aren't, tot. You aren't getting through here, ma'am. Several minutes later, ooh, what does she do? Well, what can you do? Oh, you are, whoa. You are a naughty little kitten. <laughs> and you really won't let this naughty little kitten pass, even after she's been sweeter than a saucer of what? Whoa, no! Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Sorry, we're back. We're back. Okay. <laughs> Salsa of warm milk is not safe for work. Uh, all right, I guess it's fine. It's not like you're a complete stranger after all, but no cause in trouble, you hear me, kitten? Whoever said close it was impossible to infiltrate. infiltrate clearly hadn't met Lady Starfall. Why, well, thank you ever so much, my big, strong soldier boys. Bye-bye now. Hey, come on, don't kiss and run. Let's have a little more fun together. Well, you have... Plenty of quality fine time time soon, believe me. I simply can't put these errands off any other longer, darling. What a time you came in to be. Whoa, this is getting kind of rapey. Just what exactly does she have to do, soldier? Your, 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 your election of duty, debauchery, indolence, the sustain of your sonar as soldiers. You should be ashamed. He's Valix. Whoa, what's an Imperial General doing out in a backwater burb like this? <laughs> His presence is fearsome indeed. There's no way I can take him on in a head-on fight. B bluff, Melora, bluff. Uh Furthermore, I could scarcely believe you'd be charmed by this woman. <laughs> an ally of the Halidim, and not realize her indiscretion. Am I mistaken, woman? Uh, the jig is up. He's not just strong. He's sharp, too. Nothing's gonna get past him. Are you deaf, soldiers? Arrest this woman. Immediately. Uh, uh, ooh. Ooh. Will you not resist? You have some backbone. Or perhaps it's something else. Well, matters not. Come. So, sir, if there's to be an interrogation, we wouldn't want to trouble you. We'll carry it out for you. You wouldn't be able to handle it. I wish it on myself. Uh-oh, this is kind of getting a bound chicka wow wow kind of situation. You're as docile as a lamb. What are you plotting, woman? Nothing at all. Tied up as I am, I hardly think myself capable of anything, much less mustering up some grand scheme. What I want to know is what you plan to do with me. Following your interrogation, I'll be sending you to prison in the capital. Look well upon the light of day, for you'll never see it again. <laughs> My, you underestimate me. You think you can keep me under lock and key and peel? Did you not see your soldiers? It would be a simple task for me to bewitch my jailers and see myself whisk far away from your prison. Indeed it would. A strong case for dealing with you right here and now and back. I could give you one better. A great and powerful general needs a partner, does he not? In public and in private, I dare say. Speak light, woman. If you spare me, I will spy on your behalf. I will bring you any information you desire, no matter how classified. And I will obey all your soldiers without question, whether they pertain to work or matters more <laughs> discreet. You think these honey words will sway me? I'm sure you already swore fealty to my bro there. That if 
found myself in the employ of King David as mere happenstance. And what's more, he does not truly understand me. He is much too soft. He has not once given me a task that use my, utilizes my ample talents. He coddles me like a pitiful hatchling. He never so much as steals a sidelong glance at me. His impertinence has sent me into a crisis of self-esteem. <laughs> what is your void? <laughs> I wish to say of one who will both understand me and to make ample use of my considerable talents. I care not the form that arrangement takes. Mm. You would certainly not show amnesty to a former enemy, would you? That's the kind of man I'd like to serve when I'm afraid to raise a stern hand. I used 15, no, 14,000 wormite for this girl. No, actually 20,000 worm, 24,000 wormite. I can't do math. If you do not believe me, then test him for yourself. We are all alone right now. Give me any order at all, and I will obey. You allowed yourself to be captured without a fuss because you were confident you could bewitch me. Oh! You planned to find an opening in this cave or to win me over. Whichever it is, you've grossly underestimated me. Did you really see me through so easily through me? <laughs> Discipline is the cornerstone of any prudent military man. Do not insult me so. I will ask you this one time, with secret orders, as my brother sent you here, carry out. I'm here by no orders of King David's. You come to distinguish yourself of your own volition. What is your aim? Speak honestly, for if you do not... <sighs> you truly are the real deal. I can ply with you neither raw might nor feminine allure. I can tell you everything, so lower your weapon. And I'm not talking about the one in your pan. Who? My objective is a necklace stolen from my client by a deceitful lobear. I'm told that it was sold to one Count Del Shi. Del Shai. You infiltrated enemy territory to achieve a trinket? might consider a better lie. What? Oh, good thing I didn't put the family-friendly tag. Putting your life on the line for a tangle of food passion is laughable. Keep a secret set. I'll have you take them to your grave. You would far more tedious man than the word boards would suggest, Valix. What? I speak of was given to my client by her mother, given by her friend, given by her lover, as a keepsake. It's not that sort of thing whose importance can be measured against sovereign duty. And what's more, I cannot abide the theft of something so precious at the hand of false love. Mm -hmm. You risk your life out of pity then? Not, but naive sentiment. Welcome, Becca makes stuff. Unfortunately for you, I'm not nearly so saccharine, saccharine, saccharine woman as you take me for. I'm also here for my own sake. My pride would never allow me <gasps> to forsake the rubbish kind. <laughs> Your pride? You're so arrogant that you spit in the face of death? Was that imprecise what you desired all along? It is certainly not. I only a fool rush headlong into the hereafter. Nonetheless, I have no regrets where love is concerned. I will never yield. If you're gonna kill me, Valix, then do it. I see. Then enhance in cat case. Blah, 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 blah. Oh! Slice. Huh? You cut my bonds. What are you playing at, Valix? Everything I've heard of Count Daoshi's fraudulent financial activities. If your aim in the city is to exact justice for his misdeeds, then I have no reason to stop you. What? So I'm free to move about the city? I will not impede you, so long as your movements are not negligent. That said, I cannot well allow an enemy to run about my territory completely unchecked. As such, 
I restrict you to just. You have until sunset. If you cannot accomplish your objective by then, I will come to deliver final judgment myself, the Batman. No one in the city is beyond my sight. And if ever, I will find you. And I will find you. And I will kill you. I have a set of skills. Remember that. I have until sunset. And if I cannot achieve my objective by then, I will meet my end. Heh. <laughs> you drive a tough bargain. If you are a lot of and genuine, then I am certain you have accomplished your goal. Now go. Show me what your words are worth. Ah, oh, you talk about a close call of working quiet a handicap. Daddy got better you only a big bit of shirt on seven bunch, aren't they? Oh man. Oh man, my head I feel lightheaded, yo.